Hello everyone. This is your video for this week from the 14th of February until the 20th. And I can feel the energy is very low, but sort of ups and downs. It's not the same for everybody. I'm just going to sit here with Finn because he's also feeling a bit emotional today. So he's following me everywhere. So we are all going through this emotional ups and downs, feeling tired and then uplifted and then tired again. So how do we allow ourselves to be in that space? And as we spoke about last time to look through and just reassess what we are responsible for, what is our soul commitments that we made and what not, what is chosen by the ego or by fear, what do you feel responsible for? And I found that it's quite a hectic process to work through those things and it takes energy. Almost made me feel helpless and empty just thinking about all the things that I'm taking on that might not even be what I'm supposed to be doing in this lifetime. I just want to switch to this side. Come Finn, come Lee. My cords are gone now. Okay, so the cards that I chose for this week is from my angel card deck because the angel said we need some extra inspiration this week. So I drew through three cards that just jumped out this morning. The first one is Angel Frederica. Playfulness. So all these cards tie in. There's also a full moon this week on Wednesday. So there's a build up. And because we feel so tired and you might feel that there's no flow, that the finances doesn't flow and the new um, opportunities and things don't flow or whatever your planning is not flowing yet, I do feel a strong watery energy this week. So allow water into your space. If you can be close to a big body of water or just spend more time in the bath or in your shower also allow that or if it's raining just allow that water energy to be part of your space so the playfulness also comes in there and another one another one of the cards are is the abundance card angel henna and we need to trust in abundance again so the playfulness also comes in there how much abundance do we allow and do we actually just share in that space and that energy of being in playfulness allowing the flow allowing the joy and then allowing the abundance to happen and the third card is angel niyashna living fully so we need to ask ourselves what keeps me from living my full potential and living fully is not only your potential but also in complete joy, in complete bliss. This morning in the yoga, the angel said that this week we need compassion and we need to just be compassionate towards ourselves and love ourselves and feel sorry for ourselves a bit. Just cry and get it out and feel, feel the vulnerability. So the living fully is also, you know, allow life, allow it to its fullest, allow the ups and the downs. But find your balance. Every time choose to find a balance and not to go into what you feel you need to experience. Because often when we feel down, we don't allow it because we feel that we need to be happy for everybody else. And when we are happy, we feel guilty because then, you know, we can't be happy if other people are sad. So where's the balance? And just allow yourself to be in a space where you need to be. Finn is lying down with me here. So be present and allow nature into your space as much as possible. Look at the beautiful flowers coming out again behind me on the yesterday, today and tomorrow. Just allow yourself to be in that space of receiving, allowing nature to nurture you. I hear the lawnmower is going, but you know, just Allow whatever is so that you are present within life 
and in the changes of life remember last week we also spoke about changes allowing the changes to happen that is still part of the energy of the week and looks like the whole month but instead of trying to force changes just allow whatever needs to happen and be content in good changes happening and you know sometimes destruction happens before rebirth and sometimes when the destruction happens we get so much into the fear and the sadness that we forget that you know whatever is ending is preparing room for a new beginning so allow yourself that space to be present within it i'm going to leave you with that and remember this week abundance keep believing in it and that's not only money but also includes money and again i got that message this morning in yoga that i received last week do you remember i spoke about archangel telenial that told me that we can ask for anything we need even if it doesn't seem like a necessity so and often joy and peace doesn't seem like a necessity but it is it's part of what we need and rest and relaxation as well so make sure you focus on yourself and allow some nurturing this week it's a good week to allow yourself to go to somebody for healing um, I'm going to do that tomorrow so just go and receive and invest in yourself even if you feel that the money isn't flowing take a little bit invest in yourself so that you trust in the flow take care everyone see you next week bye guys